makes it really fun when you're selling things that you like to sell and so we sold a bunch of vintage 80s and 90s things again today and most of it came out of the store for the kids came out of the homeschool hustler store <music> Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin and we go back and forth. Sometimes we're in here, sometimes we're in the old eBay cave. So some of you that have been around a long time here, we've been doing this just over a year, remember us inside all the time. But we have really enjoyed our new surroundings and it makes it a lot easier to do some shipping there. Makes it really fun when you're selling things that you like to sell. And so we sold a bunch of vintage 80s and 90s things again today and most of it came out of the store for the kids came out of the homeschool hustler store which is kind of cool matter of fact a viewer bought a lot of items four or five things from their store so we'll have to bring them down here and uh, tell you thank you had another viewer send us a plate and this one's really cool i'm excited to show you all about it in just a second had a huge day of sales if you remember watching tuesday's video and then on wednesday of course we had the shipping video and so today is thursday here and i complained i'm like you know i had one sale so far that day it was really slow so far and as soon as i clicked that camera off and started editing the video just had floods of sales tons of sales came in and we ended up selling almost 600 dollars worth of stuff so i guess i should uh, knock on wood because now i gotta do all this shipping which is good because we're making money so let's take a look at what's up all right, if you go back, if you came to this channel from uh, our most successful video, I can't remember what it was called, let me remember. Garage sale bundle, buy it all and get a good price. You'll remember us buying these. I have, this is the only one I've ever listed. I have two giant bags of it that I still have to list. I think we paid 120 for the total of it all. This one I paid five bucks for and it sold for 17. So we're not gonna get rich off of that deal, but I have a feeling these are gonna sell fairly quick. So 17 bucks plus shipping on this, so it's a profit of a little bit. It's close to about $10, $11 profit. We have like 30 some pieces. So we'll end up making three to 500 bucks off of that deal, depending on what's in there. So I'm pretty happy with that sale, $17 plus shipping. Sold a Jimmy Thunderbolt. This was a retail arbitrage buy. My wife bought a boatload of these things, literally a cart full of them for a dollar a piece. Not just this kind, but a bunch of different types. So a dollar a piece is what she paid, $14.81 plus shipping on this one. And we've sold three or four of these already. I was thinking it would be a little while before we sold them, but uh, I'll definitely take that. It's a profit of around $12 a piece, maybe a little bit less than that after fees and expenses and everything. All right, you saw me buy this just last week. Everything was a dollar, I think was the name of this video. And th this one wasn't the sale. I didn't pay a dollar for this one. I wish I did. I paid seven for this one. Whenever you find this one, the Sharp VLA-10, it's got the screen on back and it just looks like a box here, but it's got this little rotation. This one was tested and working. It does have some scuffs on it. it sold for $80 plus shipping and I paid seven. So that's a quick turnaround on that little sale. So I'm happy about that one for sure. And that reminds me, a lot of you have been sending me Instagrams and saying, hey, I wouldn't have picked this up, but you told me to pick it up or you mentioned it purple ab rollers and that kind of thing. So I really appreciate those messages, but do me a favor. I am having a hard time keeping up with everything. So right now my focus is on comments, especially on the Q and A videos on Sunday. I've been trying to answer those questions and I've been trying to keep up with Instagram, but I'm having a hard time keeping up with email and Facebook. So if you want to get in touch with me, the best shot at it, it's going to be Instagram or the question and answer video on Sundays. I bought this Filter Queen a while back. I bought a few just like it. This one was $20 for the whole system, including the wand and the hose and even the power nozzle. So at the price that I paid for that thing, this sold for 50 plus shipping. So we've already made back our money and close to 20 bucks, a little bit less profit. Still have four other items to sell off of that thing. And the hose itself, I think I listed for 80 or $90. And then the power nozzle for maybe 30 or so. And then the wand for another 40 i can't remember exactly but we're going to make a pretty good amount of money parting out that filter queen matter of fact i think we also had some of the cone filters that you put inside of it seven of them and i think i put 15 bucks on that so you can make money on these things if you part them out i also see people just take this base off as well and they're just parting out the motor on top so there's different ways to do it but unless you're willing to package up something this heavy i would avoid it but if it doesn't bother you there's pretty good money in these things 
Hey, bud. Hi, uh, can you raise me in a short spot on no, because he's Yeah, play. I'll race you again, but he's mowing, so when he's done mowing, we'll race, okay? Okay. Alright. Three races. What? We're doing three races in the same Three day. races today, that's right. Yeah. All right. In the same day. In the same day. <laughs> All right, here's a bandana print women's sleeveless shirt, and this thing sold for 20 bucks. This came from the Sunny Shares sale, so it's not a bad little sale. And I'm happy we made it, but half of this profit is gonna go to Sunny, and it's about to have maybe six fifty seven dollars $7 split when we're consigning something like this, which is okay, because we made a bunch of money on it so far. So let's take a look at how much the Sunny Shares sales made for us. So far, and I think we're probably selling about, we've probably sold about half of it so far is my guess. $740 on that consignment sale. So far, half for me, half for Sonny, even though Blue Ridge Mama did all the work. All right, I've got one more sale and it's up here and I wanna show it to you real quick. This is a Caboodles. My wife picked that thing up. I'm surprised it's hung around as long as it has. We finally put it, I think, on 15% clearance, I think. And it sold for $16 and change, I think, plus shipping. And she picked that up for $1.99, so it's not a bad little sale for her all right so i want to show you two more things real quick here's the first one all right and it is a sticker here we made this the froggy flips drawer so we of course have my drawer right here which is actually where i keep reagan's artwork that we uh sell for charity on commonwealthpicker.com which i need to put one up by the way and we're also getting some mugs back in 50 more the last 50 will sell of that particular mug so thanks to uh, froggy flips right here if y'all haven't subscribed over there got to check him out he's good stuff right there a lot of josh garage flips cincinnati picker tesla picker and part-time pickers and we've got a few more places that will put up some other content creator stuff if you want to send them to me i'll make sure they get put up and i want to show you something over here right up here here's that nebraska plate that we got yesterday i decided to make it right above the kids store here's the kids store right here it's looking a little shabby right now i need to put some more stuff in it Here's the Massachusetts part. So my buddy is over here and then the Cabbage Patch horse is over here. So <laughs> basically what I'm doing is I'm creating skews based on the plates. So we need uh, another one here, another one here, and another one here. I've been putting stickers from different folks that have sent them in or business cards here. We'll keep filling that up as well. All right, but I have one more thing that a viewer sent in. I want to show you real quick and then we're going to go on inside in the eBay cave and show you what sold in there. All right, this is cool. I love this plate. We're going to find a real special place for this one for sure in here. Reagan's just going to love it when she sees it. And the kindest note ever from uh, Debbie and Ron. And let me show you here on the back. On the back, they have signed it. Uh, they're now from Utah. This is from their car in Maui. Lived in Maui for 23 years, celebrating 39 years of marriage born in orange county and y'all just wrote a sweet note i love this here we've never subscribed to a youtube channel but we will make yours the first when we do we try to use your affiliate links as much as possible so thank y'all so much that's very kind and i absolutely love it all right i have two items to the same buyer and i don't think this is a viewer so if you are a viewer thanks for the purchase but i didn't see a note this is an israeli ashtray Hand-painted, it says. It's Lapid Made in Israel, hand-painted by Leah. It's a pretty cool little ashtray. I got this at the Joyce Junk Sale last June. I guess it would have been like a, literally a year and a week ago, and they, they, of course, aren't having the sale, at least not that I know of this year. I bought a ton of ashtrays. Some of them really, really nice, and I made like $30, $40 on. This one sold for $19 plus shipping. Most ashtrays aren't worth much, but uh, this took a long time, obviously, to sell. I think I paid $3 for it. And then I got this one, Against All Odds, Israel Survives. And, of course, there's different episodes. It walks you through episodes in their history, both ancient and modern, all the way through the Holocaust and the formation of the state in 1948. And uh, through all of that, the Balfour Declaration. And Well, at any rate, you probably don't care as much as I do. I love old history, so... Isn't all history old? <laughs> I better shut up. At any rate, $10.49 to go with that. So it's like a $30 sale plus shipping. And I think grand total, I'm into it for $3 and like two cents. I'm into this for pennies. Got this from a sale entitled, I think, Amazon 
seller going out of business or something like that, which is what I did. I bought it from somebody who used to sell a lot of books fulfilled by merchant on Amazon. A lot of Christian stuff and some religious things like this. And he was selling it all out. And so we, I think he was selling it like a dollar a box or something unbelievable because they were moving. And I just filled it up and filled it up. And I bought all kinds of stuff, including a projector, which I thought was interesting. And it sold for decent money, by the way. So that's not a bad little sale. And I will try to link to this video if I have a chance. All right, this one is going out. It says uh, Blars Blarson is the name, I think, that this person comments by. At any rate, Viking Blars. That's the name of the eBay store. So thank you for this purchase. Hope this helps my store, Viking Blars. I got tongue twisters here. I better stop. So we hope, uh, Robert, we hope this one gets things selling for you. So thanks so much. All right, Fisher Price Toot. A little engine that could. And this took forever to sell. I bought it in a huge lot of Fisher Price stuff. And I was toying with the idea of taking it out of my eBay store and putting it in the booth and selling it for a couple bucks because that's about all I'm going to get off of this once I put it on discount. I put a lot of stuff on it. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to sell through a bunch of stuff. As I list my new stuff, I'm actually going in. I don't often do this and put sales and promotions and offers. And I'm doing it on stuff that's been in the store a long time because it's the buying season and I want to get that back end stuff gone. So uh, I know that's why a lot of you buy that uh, Inaman. So maybe I should get in a couple extra Inaman and, and, and I don't know, do what. I, I got so many Inaman around here, you wouldn't think that I'd have any back end stuff, but <laughs> I guess I have a few. So it's getting out of here, it's flowing pretty well. So maybe they're working. Anyway, this one sold for just over $12 and it is gonna go first class. And it'll probably be about 13 to 14 ounces once it is uh, all packaged up. So we're not going to make much money on it, but it wasn't a lot. So it's all pure profit at this point. And I'm happy it's gone. If you've noticed back here, it's been sitting right back here, I think. It's been the front end of that sucker right there. Anyway, it is gone and I'm happy it's gone. I have one of these going out to Diana and one going out to Sam and Lisa Snell. And the reason I said their last name is because their eBay store is the Re Snellers. <laughs> which I thought was pretty creative. So uh, they say, hi, I really enjoy watching your YouTube videos. There's always something new to learn. I can't wait to get an Enemann home and get him to work in our eBay store and then our reselling business. Thanks from the Resnellers. So thank you all so much, Sam and Lisa. We appreciate it. We hope he brings you some great luck. All right, these last two items are, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Just clearing it out. Things that uh, have been hanging around way too long. I clearanced them down. The beauty of both of these is I'm going to make a little bit of money. I'm going to make like three, no, I take it back. I'm going to make about four seventy-five on this one. Sold for just over $9 and I had 50 cents into it. And I'm going to make $1.75 on that one back there. That one sold for nine sixty-nine. So I haven't got much money into these, obviously, and I'm not selling them for much. And in hindsight, I wouldn't have probably picked up either. I might pick up this one just because I pick up this kind of stuff. I like to have it in my store to keep drawing LU folks back to my store. But this isn't a great seller for Big South ch Champions. You know, it's not exactly, you know, that's six years ago at this point. So this doesn't exactly have a high demand for it. But this is, you know, it's one of those things that you just have to do. So don't be afraid. I, I'm one of those people who don't like to buy if I don't have the space. So when I have the space, I buy. You can only put so much stuff in your space. I know a lot of you deal with the problem in reverse. You, you just can't help but buy. You're just addicted to buying and you buy and you buy and you buy. And eventually you're going to run into problems. You know, you're going to be buying storage sheds and putting them up all over the place, driving your spouse crazy. You're going to be renting storage space. You're going to be doing all kinds of, you know, your car is going to be packed to the gills because you have nowhere to put it in here. And then you can't, it's just a big mess. So I put limits on myself. I put particular items in specific bins. And when that bin is full, I don't buy one. Or if I have a particular item that is a slow seller, if I have it in the store, I'm not going to buy another one. If it sells, I'll buy another one. So there's got to be ways to manage your space and your inventory. So what I do is I go to the very, very far left of my closets and find what's been in there forever. And then I mark it down because you want to have space for better selling, higher ROI merchandise to come in. So that's just what I do. You let me know what you do. Do you have any of those methods or systems that I just talked about in your store, in your home or your basement or your eBay cave or wherever it is? What are your systems or are you just a free for all and there is no system? And that's okay too. All right, we're going to head on back to the Commonwealth cabin and get one of the homeschool hustlers. Probably be Turner for one more night and talk about the sales.
for tonight. I don't know. Maybe it'll be Reagan. We'll see. We'll track one of them down. And we'll tell you what sold out of there. But I'm going to say goodbye to you from in here as always. And thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you spending your time with us almost every night, if not every night. We love the ones who come back every night. That's awesome. And it encourages us to keep doing it. So thank you. And we'll see you next time. All right, I have Turner in here with me, a homeschool hustler. And I have Sophie over here. Sophie's been begging to be petted, hasn't she? Look, yeah. we'll pet you for a minute. Got to clean my dirty floor up, don't I? Hey, say hi to everybody, Sophie. Say hi. Hi. Want to say hi? She don't want to say hi. There you go. So, Turner, what have we sold today? We sold Eeyore back there. What's Eeyore from? Uh, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. That's right. Winnie the Pooh. And we sold all this to one person. Mm -hmm. Her name is Winter. Can you say hello to Winter? Hi, Winter. Can you say thank you? Thank you, Winter. <laughs> and you're going to make some big money today, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And we sold a couple of trolls, and everybody's happy. I've heard so many people say, please sell this thing. Get rid of this thing. I can't look at that Victoria's Secret troll. <laughs> Looks funny. Yes. And we sold a wigwam troll, and you're looking at Mama in the window, aren't uh -huh. you? Is she in the window the back there? Out. The chickens are out. The chickens are out. You can see them? Yeah. That's funny. All right, and we sold that She-Ra lunchbox right there, and that thing was cool, Princess of Power. There's stuff in it. And I had it listed for 50 bucks, and she had asked about it even before I was listing it, and I just uh, decided to take the offer for 40 and uh, since she bought so much other stuff. So that is a cool little deal right there. And the thermos I see going on there from like thirty to forty dollars, so that's awesome. I think Reagan's right here because there's Eeyore right there. <laughs> it's like Reagan is sitting next to you. Yeah. All right. Well, you say thank you to Winner one more time. Thank you, Winner. All right. And and I don't remember all the prices. It was darn near a hundred bucks for all this mm -hmm. stuff, I think, though after shipping and everything. But we'll give you a little bit of shipping discount once we put everything together. So, all right. So if you want to say goodbye too, can you say goodbye? Say, no, just pet me. Just pet me. See you next time. Bye. All right, I got this sidestep, GE sidestep. That's pretty cool. At a sale the other day. You, I don't know if you've seen the video or not. Probably not. Uh, maybe coming out Wednesday, I think. I don't even know when I'm coming out. any rate, I just put batteries in it, and we're going to give it a test and see if it works. I think it's like a, I don't know, $30 one, something like that. And 10 is good. I always check that antenna first. It's tightened, but it's good. All right, radio first. I didn't clean it. You see how dirty it is. I always test them first because you're wasting your time if you uh, clean it and then it doesn't work. And you don't hate me somehow. Awesome. That's awesome. Those usually work. I mean, let's face it, they're radios. This is what doesn't always work. So, moment of truth for the old sidestep. Where's play? Here it is. By the way, the battery compartment looked good. I don't have the adapter for it, so. Sweet. Surf and Safari. I love it. So, fast forward and rewind. Uh-oh. I got nothing for rewind. I got fast forward. There it is. Now it's rewinding. Maybe I just didn't see it right. That's so cool. I love it. And I love this machine. It's got a little handle on it. And it has a little place for headphones. And that's what's kind of unique about it. This thing you take off somehow. I can't remember. And if I remember, you spin it and the headphones come out. I'm not quite sure. But that's a pretty cool vintage machine. I love it.